Hi Aquarius, thank you for joining. And this is going to be your weekly love reading. Pre-shuffle energy of an older person who knows what they want is in your energy coming towards you. You know, this is something new I feel like, but we'll see what comes out. <clears throat> older male, older female. Somebody who knows exactly what they want. Somebody that's not going to play games. And right now, GOAT is playing by Eric Bellinger. So, I guess I'm going to have to call her babe. Somebody want to call you babe or you're going to feel like you want to call somebody babe. They're going to feel like you are the GOAT. Um, or like, you know, that's what it's given. So, what else we have here for my singles, the collective, and love? Hopefully we'll see. Oh, I, yeah. Real love that grows slowly and steadily. Yes, I love this energy for y'all. Look at that. It's so refreshing to finally get some energy out here who's not karmic. Hopefully we don't have any karmic energy hijacking this or a twin from the past or a soulmate from the past. We'll see. But you got a real love coming in. Somebody who's going to want the same thing you want. They're going to look at you and view you. And, and what's playing right now is slow. By Tank featuring Jay Valentine. And this literally says a real love that grows slowly and steadily. Okay, so you're about to meet somebody who's not going to want to rush. Take it fast. They're going to try to get to know you, you know. And once you get to know this person, you know, and you good conversation, great communication, I feel like. A great listener. Yeah, <laughs> you're about to have a crush on somebody new. Look at this. Having a crush on someone new, you're really going to dig this new person. Like, y'all going to be down, like, full flex. Yeah. Or they're going to have a crush on you. Maybe you already know who this person is. I don't know. Somebody here, I feel like someone does not have any strings attached. Like, somebody's going to be single, single. Like, the, no strings attached doesn't mean that somebody's not dating casually. Because you can still date casually and still not have strings attached. They might not be having sex with somebody. They might You might just be dating, but you don't have any attachments. So this is good, healthy energy, I feel like. Good, healthy energy here. And there goes that older man on the bottom of this other day. Mature man. Some of y'all could be, if you're a male, you could be an older male. Or there could just be an age difference in between y'all. This is somebody here who knows what they want. They don't, even if this person isn't older, they can just be more mature, wiser. Somebody that can teach you something. We are all about their life over here, right? We, we all want to learn something. I know I do. What do we have for my singles here when it comes to love? I like it. Ooh, friendship. Friendship. Somebody here who's going to be a friend. It's going to be slow and steady. Good conversation like I was telling y'all. Yeah, some of you all may meet somebody through another friend. This could be someone that knows you, meets, meets you somewhere else in another friend group. Or somebody could say, hey, collective, like I know somebody who's single and they looking for you. This is kind of the same things that you're looking for. Like, why don't y'all exchange numbers or something? You could meet this person at an outing. <clears throat> or this could just be energy of you feeling like you can be yourself and this person's going to be. Ooh, look at this shit. True gem. True gem. What? Come through with it, spirit. I'm telling y'all, let me put my glasses on. Because I'm telling you, somebody's going to look at you as like, you are the goat. You're the one. Um, And you could fall in love, but that doesn't mean that you have to like get married and sleep with each other the next day or the next month or the next week. But I do feel like you and this person are going to know and going to be looking for the same thing. Like you're going to have qualities in each other that you both value so much. So it's like, dang, I've been looking for this. Where have you been? You're a gem to this person. The goat. This person is going to see you. Oh, somebody's going to want to have children. Somebody going to want a family. Okay, we have family on the bottom of the deck. And then we have children that came out after a true gem. Now, if you don't have kids, this is somebody here that you can have children with. Or for some of y'all, someone here can already have children. Okay, but if somebody already has kids already, you and this person are going to have another child. Because there are children here in this card. 
Okay, but in this car, there's a man and a woman and a child here that's significantly younger than these other children. So you might possibly, this person could already have kids or you could already have kids, but y'all are going to have at least one together if you're open to that, all right? If you're not open to kids, you don't want kids, you're too old to be having kids, this is just a childlike energy, somebody you can have fun with, somebody you're going to have a tight bond with, somebody you're going to be friends with, it's going to be a lot of fun, There's gonna, it's going to be a very innocent connection, healthy, non-toxic, a spiritual connection, look at this, spiritual growth, this is somebody here who's going to teach you something, like I said, somebody who's mature, male or female, they are going to center you and bring balance. This is somebody you can learn something from. This is definitely somebody here who could be spiritually um, guided or they could be like a, a spiritual in some sense. Um, now we have feelings versus sentence plan. I'm telling you, this person is definitely going to have you in your feelings. <clears throat> oh, yeah. This is a spiritual connection. This is a spiritual connection. Past life past life. When you meet this person, you're going to feel spiritually connected to them. You're going to just know. It's going to feel like deja vu. Yeah. Very significant spiritual connection. Um, hmm. Give me one more here. For some of y'all, this ain't for everybody, but for some of y'all, you're not looking for a relationship. You're just looking for something casual. And then when you meet this person, it's like, oh my goodness. You know, or this could be how this person feels about you. Flip it, switch it, I don't know. But somebody here is going to be like, oh, I'm just dating casually. I'm not really trying to put all my eggs in one basket. But when you meet with this person, some of y'all may meet this person while traveling, uh, while on vacation or enjoying yourself, or you and this person are going to be traveling together going out having a wonderful time i'm telling you yeah and as i'm saying that because i have both of these decks i split the deck while I'm, it says fun times hey can you see that fun sorry fun times literally parties events having fun travel yeah y'all are gonna have a lot of fun what's on the other side Young female, youthful musician. So somebody here could work in the fashion industry. Somebody could be a musician. Uh, but there is a, a dynamic of somebody being younger and meeting an older person who's wiser, who could teach them something, who can guide them. And there goes that damn mature man again. As I'm like sitting here playing and shuffling the deck, the mature man is back out here. There's definitely going to be an age difference here. Yeah, soulmate as I'm continuing, y'all see this. This is a past life soulmate. It's a great connection. It's going to be a healthy relationship. Come on, spirit. Show up and show out. Because I am tired of this whole stale-ass karmic energy, y'all. Y'all just don't know. I be having to say what it is. But show me what else here for the collective. Singles. This is somebody here who, oh yes, telepathy for sure. Definitely you and this person are going to have a very strong spiritual connection. And this is somebody who's going to be very devoted to you. This is somebody who are here who's going to be very dedicated to you. They're going to have an, un, an unconditional and eternal love for you. Just period. Like, look at this energy, devotion. You see this? This is somebody here who you're going to feel a strong telepathic spiritual connection with. You're both going to, this person's just going to have, it's going to be, a, a, this is like unworldly, like, it says pay attention to telepathic messages that are being sent and received at this time. This person might be looking for somebody like you, or you're like, you might be seeing a lot of signs and synchronicities right now. Trust, yep, the spirit is saying, yeah, you are seeing signs and synchronicities because they want you to have faith. They want you to keep the faith here, okay? Trust and believe that love is here to stay this time around. Don't allow fear or doubt to intervene. Trust the divine. So when you meet this person, don't don't be like, oh, I'm not, and I'm also not saying rush and just make this person your whole world either, right? Have a balanced approach about it, but also be open. Don't be negative. Give somebody a chance. Get to know them. Be friends first. Do, you know, slow and steady, right? Remember, slow and steady. You don't have to give it a label right away. 
You ain't got to give nothing away right away. You ain't got to give the poom poom up right away. You know what I'm saying? You can still travel and have fun and not rush into anything. This is somebody here that's going to be dedicated. That's going to be true. This is somebody here that's going to expand you on, to some level. Family and friends has come up again. The support of family and friends may help strengthen the connection. So either this person... For sure, I'm feeling the energy of like maybe somebody has a large family or they already have children and this person has strong family values. They're definitely going to want to, they're going to be around for quite a while. They're, they're going to want to build something. This is giving 10 of, yep. Thank you. Literally when I was saying they're going to want to build something, I flip this card over and build a future. <laughs> Sometimes I like be wanting y'all to see what happens in real time with the cards, but I really like this like this interaction but anyway so because i don't be making this up it says the one this one is a keeper your love life is ascending to the next level hmm. i love this for you a great connection a soulmate somebody here to stay don't sabotage it please make sure your communication is is clear and i already told y'all i feel like this is going to be somebody who Communication is going to be good. Somebody's going to be a great listener. You're going to, I feel like you're going to feel like you can tell this person anything. They're going to feel that way about you too. Okay. It says a conversation is on the horizon. Someone is planning to reach out to you. Be ready to express yourself. Now, this person here, remember we saw earlier somebody has a crush on you. <clears throat> this could be somebody you don't even know they have a crush on you. They could be watching you. They may even know you from a friend group or. Like I said, somehow somebody's family or friends are involved in this situation. <clears throat> Law of attraction. Look at that. Law of attraction. It says we attract what we are. Use the law of attraction to manifest your perfect match by being the perfect match to yourself first. I love this. And guess what's playing right now? Loved by you by Molly Music and Jasmine Sullivan. You loved on yourself, collective. Y'all loved on yourselves. You showed up for yourselves. You didn't. You didn't take just anything. You didn't settle for just anything. Um, you dated casually. You didn't. You know. You didn't settle. You enjoyed your life. You did the work. Um, <clears throat> and very soon, this is coming in for you. You know, this person is gonna be your perfect match. You attracted this soulmate because of the work that you did. You might just be afraid that it's short term, you know, and use your discernment, obviously, but just make sure you communicate what you want and keep keep a positive outlook and take things slow. You're not going to have to rush with this person. This person is not going anywhere. This person that's in it for the long run. <clears throat> Show me more here about this for singles, please. Oh, that's too many. Hold on, y'all. Let's shuffle one more time. Look at that. Somebody's watching you. You might know who this you might not even know this person. Like maybe some of y'all do know this person and you don't know they're watching you. But they are watching you. That's definitely somebody is like inquiring minds want to know who is that empress over there. Male or female. Who is that person? Show me more for singles in love. Yeah. Leo energy, the sun card. They're gonna be happy. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, this is good. Yep, justice energy. Look at that. Libra energy. Ooh, four of wands, you guys. This is stability. This is balance. This is equal give and take. This is good karma, too. This is good karma. Ooh, wish fulfillment, nine of cups. This is... This is a really, it's been a long time, you guys, since this energy has come out. You could be a fire sign in Aries, Leo, or a Sag. You could be a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. You could be a Libra, a Leo. But either way it goes, this is a wish fulfillment. This is a happy home. This is a family. This is you enjoying yourself, traveling, having fun, having a great damn time, being happy, getting exactly what you deserve, exactly what you pray for. Look at that. And there goes that emperor on the bottom of the damn deck. 
keep the faith. Oh, look at what's underneath that. The Empress. I can't make this up. Five of Pentacles. Somebody is lonely. If you're you, if you resonate as the divine feminine, you could be feeling real lonely and in your head and negative right now, like thinking negative thoughts. Because underneath this Empress is the Five of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords. Don't be thinking negatively. And you're like, damn, well, it's taking forever to come. Nine of Pentacles, when is it coming? And I get it. I understand that. You didn't have many options, right? This is you, like, trying to keep no strings attached, dating casually. You don't want to be, you know, you're just confused as to what the hell is taking so long. Two of Swords. Yeah. I'm going to leave this here. The Sun card, the Justice card, the Four of Wands, the Nine of Cups, the Emperor, 4-4. Four, four, somebody could be 44, born in 1944 here. That's significant. Um, the number 11 is here. The number 19 is here. I mean, with this Empress, I don't... And the like, this is your person. I don't know what else to tell you, except for just think positively. Continue to think positively and trust. Um, yeah. Take your time. This person is not going to go anywhere, okay? I love y'all.